Well, hi kids, children, adults, grandparents, people of all ages. You might be a cat, you might be a dog, or anything in between, or an inanimate object. This is an issue I've been having lately on this particular machine. Now, I don't think it's actually a problem with the hardware itself. I could be wrong, but I don't think it is. I think it's a Windows software issue of some sort, or a driver conflict. I don't know what. Um... So here's my Toshiba. It's a satellite uh, L305D S5874. I've upgraded it with 4 gigs of RAM instead of 3 that it came with because, of course, running in dual channel works so much better than when it was not running in dual channel. So this is an issue I've been having lately the, win the beloved Windows 7 black screen of death. Where you go in, Windows starts up, you go and log into your user account, and then this is all you get. Black screen, have a cursor, and that's all you get. Nothing more, nothing less. Now I can still do a uh, task manager, but you'll notice um, that like hardly anything's running. Only 19% memory, that's unusually low on this machine. Uh, 43 processes, that's also about 10, 15 processes lower. And you can see that even Arrow is not running. Uh, Unto Explorer is there, it's not firing up. So let's kill Explorer. And let's try to restart Explorer. And as you can see, it still will not do anything. Let's sit there on a black screen with nothing. So, I've been having this issue for the past few weeks now. Haven't really figured it out yet. What could have caused this? For sure. I do know it's not just this user account because I have tried creating another user account. And at first it behaved okay and then after a time or two it started acting up doing the same exact thing. So I know it's not just one specific user having this issue. Um, now another thing I've noticed is uh, sometimes now it will allow me to log on correctly, but then when I go to shut down or log off, it gets stuck on logging off and doesn't go any further and I have to shut down the machine manually. And then also I've noticed in my taskbar where the wireless signal it shows on Windows 7, um, I'm also seeing where I'm getting a, this the little uh, green spinny pinwheel like thing that goes around the wireless thing like it's still trying to pick up the wireless signal even though it works but it just is stuck on that and that icon and it doesn't snap out. So it's been doing all sorts of little weird things lately. Uh, I'm not going to quite yet blame it on like a virus or anything like that but Clearly something's not right. Something's no longer behaving correctly. I think I'm gonna take in the hammer to the thing. No, actually I probably won't do that. So I don't I and like I said I don't think it's anything wrong with the hardware itself in this laptop. I think it's uh, a Windows software driver or some sort of weird issue. So I'll shut it off. Killed it. Now I'm gonna turn it back on. And yes, kids and children, this is May 10th, 2011, and it reached 95 degrees here today, which is a new record high. Very toasty for this time of year. Normally, it's probably normally only around 70, upper 60s, low 70s. So, yes. Weird. Now, this issue, it doesn't do it all the time. It's not an every time thing. Sometimes it starts out fine. Other times it does not. So I haven't really even figured that out yet because it's not a consistent issue. It doesn't do it every time. It seems to do it more often on cold boots than not. But I've seen it do it on warm, 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 warm boots as well. 
as well as a couple times on a restart and that last time was on a restart after it installed a Windows update. But I know that update had nothing to do with it because it was doing it beforehand as well. So we will see if it cooperates and uh, logs in this time. I can't really capture my screen because it's not working correctly. <laughs> And see now this time it's firing up and in fact my Wi-Fi wifey thing is even working correctly but that doesn't mean uh, you know the next time that it uh, will work correctly because it's been it's doing this intermittently so there's no real way of knowing when it's going to do it that I so far I've noticed I've been trying to see if I can find a pattern, but I can't other than it seems to do it more often on a cold boot than not. Okay. Um, let's try... Let's try the event log. I wonder if it's going to tell me anything. Well, get to watch me do some troubleshooting. Alright. Application, Apple location, and go. Go. Now. Right now. Please go before I. Okay. Um. Uh, well, let's see, got a warning there. User profile service. Windows detected your registry files still unused by other applications or services. The file will be unloaded now. Applications or services to hold your registry may not function properly afterwards. Uh, lsass.exe. Some registry. Blah blah blah. That seems to be the primary problem with that. Let's check something else. Security audit success. Blah 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 blah. Setup looks okay. System. There's an there. Application specific permission settings do not grant local launch permission for the con server application CLS ID, blah 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 All sorts of gobbledygook. Oh, there's another error. AOD driver 4.0 service failed to start due to the following error. System cannot find the path specified. Okay, I hope that doesn't mean I have a hard drive issue. Uh, critical kernel power. System is rebooted without cleanly shutting down first. No kidding. This error could be caused the system stopped responding, crashed, or lost power unexpectedly. It's because I had to hold the power button down because it wouldn't do anything. Previous system shut down at 8.46.09, blah, 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 was unexpected. Location percent did not, there's that one again, at the launch console application. At 8.34, timeout of 30,000 milliseconds was reached while waiting for a transaction response from the NetMan service. Uh, PMP XIP bus enumerator service hung on starting. And there's that one again. And AOD driver 4.0 issue again. 828 WLAN auto config service was successfully stopped. I don't think we need to go this far back. There's that comm server one again. And AOD driver again. Maybe that might help figure this out. I don't know. So yes, having fun times with this thing lately. Frankly, if I have to blow this uh, install of Windows away and format reinstall, if that's the way to fix it, which I don't know yet, and we don't want to do that. Uh, if I have to go that far and blow the install away and that, uh, why, I think I will uh, retire this kind of and pass it on as a hand-me-down. And uh, I will put, or I will use Boot Camp and put it on my Mac instead. 
because it's got better hardware, except for I'm going to want to put more memory in because the MacBook only has 2 gigs of RAM, and I want 4. Uh, and this doesn't have a card reader. Probably the top two reasons why I already don't have Windows on this thing. And have, haven't merged. So I don't want to spend two or three hundred bucks to upgrade my what was a year, a little over a year ago, one thousand dollar MacBook. All right. So anyway, this is Nern Gong, and I approve this message. If you think of any ideas, lovely ideas, to fix the the beloved black screen of death that seems to be inconsistent, uh, let me know. Uh, if I figure out why it's doing this, I will let you know. But until then, bye-bye.